Hi and welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to create the uh, Gerber files which are used by the PCB manufacturer. For this, what we do is we use this tool called CAM processor. In the CAM processor, we can select what are the different jobs that we want to do, but it's always good to use a job that is given by your PCB house. Most PCB houses need a set of files and they give a CAM job that is already predefined so you can just use it in this case i'm going to use a recent job that was by i used it i got it from online i forgot the name a uh, spark club this was spark fun sorry this was from spark fun and what you see here is they have different options what kind of files you want to generate Let's keep it, uh, it's mostly RS-274X. Now you see in top copper, they are giving the top layer, the pads, the vias. Bottom copper, we have bottom pads and vias. Top silk screen. The silk screen is where these numbers are printed. These are the various things that will be printed on the silk screen. This outline, these names. And we also want the dimensions of the components present. In this that is given <coughs> by T place we have top paste we don't have anything bottom cell screen is for B place where any component that is there in the bottom right now all the components are in the top layer okay so once all our configurations are selected we don't want any of these options we leave it as it is and we process job it says that it has not been saved and save it yes so now the job is processed we go to documents we'll go to eagle and uh, here was our recent project these are the files which are generated let's place it in another folder so we can see it. this is the drill gbl gbo gbs gml gp I, GTL, GTO, GTP, GTS. These are most. These are all the files that the drill, uh, sorry, the PCB house will require. Some PCB houses uh, need a different set of files, and that is why it's always good to contact the PCB house to check with them what kind of files they require, or use their CAM processor library to generate your own files which will be used which will be needed for them now all we have to do is send these files to the pcb manufacturer and they can generate uh, make the pcb out for you 